Okay, I am back to talk some NFL. We are going to be bringing you some power rankings in this one. First, starting with number 32, we got the Jets. Uh, yeah, they've been the worst team for the entire season. So, I mean, what else do you expect? Uh, number 31, we got the Jaguars. Definitely look like they're going in a tanking direction. Uh, Gardner Minshew's injured now. We did see some nice things from uh, their quarterback who replaced him. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're just a not, not a very talented team. They have some pieces that I do like. Josh Allen is very good. They have Miles Jack, DJ Chark. But I think they need a quarterback of the future, and it looks like they're going to be uh, tanking, and it looks like they're probably going to be targeting a guy like uh, Justin Fields, who's looked excellent uh, for Ohio State this year so far. So I think it completely makes sense for them to do that. Uh, at number 30, we got the football team. Their quarterback situation right now is just atrocious. I mean, the... Alex Smith thing is obviously cool. It's exciting, but uh, he just really can't move that much. He's a 36-year-old player coming off one of the uh, just worst injuries I've ever seen. So, yeah, they're in a tough position right now. They still have some nice pieces, especially on that defensive line. That defensive line is really good. Terry McLaurin is a beast, but basically everything else is pretty ugly for them. Uh, at number 29, got the Giants. They have been a team that's been kind of scrappy and been fighting in teams uh, against some good teams but Daniel Jones is a massive issue he's just a turnover machine for them uh, and he's a big problem uh, Daniel Jones just isn't that guy for them uh, I do like some things about him he is a big guy who can run the ball well really athletic uh, but at the end of the day if his decision making it continues to be as poor as it has been then he's just not going to go anywhere as a quarterback he throws so many bad interceptions misses open people downfield uh, and they're another team that could definitely be t targeting quarterback in this draft uh, these bottom four teams all I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted quarterback in the draft the Jets the Jaguars and football football team and the Giants all wouldn't be surprised if they targeted quarterbacks uh, at 28 we got the Cowboys they did end up fighting uh, pretty pretty well in that game against the Steelers, but at the end of the day, they didn't win. Uh, their quarterback uh, position is something that uh, does have a little bit of hope, as at least their fourth-string quarterback now did look pretty decent, uh, and Andy Dolan should be coming back soon. They have nice wide receivers, but the team at the end of the day just still isn't very good, uh, and I think that was more bad play from the Steelers than necessarily super good play. Uh, from the Cowboys at number 27 we got the biggest fall off since my last power rankings we got down 15 the 49ers and the tough thing about this 49er season is that their record actually doesn't even look that bad but this season is not their fault at all now basically every big player for them is injured George Kittle's injured Nick Bose is injured like the whole team basically is injured I saw this crazy stat where it was like it's like 81 million dollars for them were on ir that's a that's a tough situation and yeah they're just not going to be a good team for the rest of the year because they're dealing with so many injuries george kittle is such a massive piece for them on offense they already lost so many big defensive pieces early in the season they traded quan alexander to the saints like yeah it's 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 tough for the 49ers a really tough season for them at 26, we got the Bengals. Uh, they have been a team that basically in every game other than the Ravens game uh, has been fighting and uh, keeping it competitive. I love Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is incredible. Uh, T. Higgins has been excellent for them as a rookie. I feel like he's gone so under the radar. He's having a really, really good rookie season. Uh, I mean, they have some nice pieces that I do like. They're trending in the right direction, but they're just not a very good team right now. The offensive line is terrible, needs improvement. The linebacking core isn't very good. Uh, and, yeah, that's why I have them as a 26 team. At 25, we got the Texans. Uh, they have looked a little bit better, but at the end of the day, they're still not a good team. The defense is atrocious. Deshaun Watson is uh, incredible. He's very, very good, but his weapons aren't great. Running game is basically... Uh, nothing super uh, ineffective, and that defense is just a mess. This team overall is a mess. Uh, at 24, we got the Chargers, though. Uh, Justin Herbert has been absolutely incredible as a rookie quarterback for them. Uh, they have a big, big issue with holding leads. That defense has been uh, especially bad when they have a lead. Uh, Anthony Lynn, uh, even though I don't think he's like the worst coach ever, he's had a lot of bad decisions that have cost them uh, these big leads and blown them games. 
Uh, and until they can hold on to a lead, I can't just keep taking these consolation prizes of, oh, they were in another close game uh, until they really start actually winning games. Because honestly, they could be like... They could be like five and three right now, and I wouldn't even have been surprised uh, just because of how much they've been competing. But they just find a way to blow every single game somehow, and they continue to do that. Uh, We saw that against the Broncos as well. At number 23, I do have the Broncos. We've seen some progress from Drew Locke. I really like Drew Locke. Uh, But at the end of the day, their injuries early in the season kind of crippled them, and they're probably going to be around this range for the rest of the season because they're simply not a very good team, coming off a pretty bad loss against the Falcons. And again, Drew Locke is making progress, but he's still not great yet. Uh, Number 22, we got the Lions. They're a team that is just seems like they're continually in this situation every single year where they're not awful, but they're not good by any means. Uh, that loss against the Vikings, they looked just straight up terrible. They got dominated by Dalvin Cook, uh, like he's been doing to literally everyone in the league. Uh, and they're just perpetually a uh, below average team who uh, will fix one hole that they have and then another hole will pop up. Uh, and even though they have nice pieces, Matthew Stafford is a good quarterback. TJ Hawkinson is really nice. Uh, DeAndre Swift is a pretty nice running back for them that they drafted. Uh And then they have some talent on the defensive side of the ball as well with some nice pieces. But it just can't really come together for the uh, Lions. And I just don't know where they go from here. Matt Patricia, I think, needs to be fired. I think that would be the first place they go more than anything is fire Matt Patricia. He's just not a good coach, Uh, especially as a head coach. I think he would be a good coordinator somewhere, but I just don't think he's good enough to be a head coach. Uh, Number 21, I got the Patriots coming off a... Pretty unimpressive win against the Jets, but regardless, they did win the game. They stayed in that game against the Bills. Cam Newton has looked better. Uh, They've kind of changed what they've done on offense. Just a lot of runs, uh, a lot of really short passes. Just get the ball out of his hands quickly and try to limit on turnovers. And it's been working. It's been a lot more effective. Uh, The defense has looked decent. Uh, They still severely lack playmakers, but... Uh, if they can keep making it work, they can at least be a decent, decentish team. Uh, at 20, we got the Eagles. They've just kind of been around this range basically all season. Uh, for me, Carson Wentz has been super disappointing. Uh, Miles Sanders was out for a couple games, but he should be back soon, and uh, that'll definitely help because Miles Sanders is a really, really nice running back. Uh, and yeah, they're just probably going to continue to be around this range for the rest of the season, but they're going to win their division because their division is terrible. Like that, it's so embarrassing how bad that division is. Literally, I have three out of my bottom five teams just in that division alone at 28, 29, and 30. We got the NFC East. What a what an embarrassment that one of those teams are going to make the playoffs. Uh, number 19, we got the Panthers. Teddy Bridgewater showed some progress. They have some nice pieces on their team. DJ Moore's been, uh, been good for them. Robbie Anderson has been good. Christian McCaffrey did come back for a game, hurt his shoulder, which is definitely going to hurt them, uh, as he did look really, really good in his comeback game. Uh, and it definitely is just a huge part of their offense gone uh, with losing such a versatile guy who can uh, catch the ball incredibly, catch the ball like a wide receiver, and then also run run it so well. But I think they have a really good coaching staff down there, uh, and I think they've outperformed a lot of people's expectations, definitely including mine. At 18, we got the Falcons coming off a really nice win uh, against the Broncos, and they've turned it around a little bit. They've started to look better under a new coaching staff. Uh, and starting to show that talent that they do have. Uh, but they aren't great yet. Uh, it's definitely nice to see the improvement, though, because they were looking real, real ugly for some time. Uh, now they're just looking like an all right team. Uh, at 17, we got the Vikings. They've definitely turned it around a ton. And that's all because Dalvin Cook is back, and he came back with absolute vengeance. He has been an animal ever since he's came back. He's been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they're my biggest leap. They're up 12 from where I had them previously ranked. I've had them as one of the worst teams in the NFL. Uh, and we immediately see the impact of Dalvin Cook. He's just one of the best running backs and could honestly make an argument for being the best running back in the NFL. He's completely transforming his offense and giving them a whole uh, different swagger and confidence that they just didn't have. He's rushing for like over 200 yards a game in these past couple games. He's just been an absolute animal. Number 16, we got the Bears. Uh, They're a team that I haven't believed in the entire year. I've been very, very critical of. I swear I have like 
four videos on the clips channel where i'm just like i i just still don't believe in the bears and they're starting to show it right now uh, they've gone on a bit of a, a losing skid this offense is just atrocious they just stall so much they uh, weren't even able to do anything against a terrible titans defense who we saw get shredded against the colts uh, and yeah they're just uh, not that good of a team. I just don't believe in them. That defense is really, really good. Like, do not get me wrong. That defense is great. But when your offense is this bad, it just doesn't matter how good that defense is. It doesn't matter that you have Khalil Mack and Akeem Hicks uh, and Roquan Smith and Kyle Fuller. Like, you can have all those pieces. But at the end of the day, if uh, your quarterback uh, situation is as bad as it is and you really don't have a running game either then you're just not going to be that good of a team on uh, they're just kind of average number 15 i have the browns i think this bye week was good for them uh, baker mayfield did catch COVID 19 but he should be uh back for the next game uh, and they're just a decent team they're going to continue to rely on their running game like they have all season hopefully nick chubb can be back sooner than later which i think he will be able to uh that'll definitely help them and my fantasy team greatly uh, and it'll just give them another threat because they can have those two ridiculous uh, running back tandem uh, in Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb back. That'll be really nice for them. Uh, 14, we have the Cardinals. I'm 14, we have the Rams. Uh, they're definitely down a little bit. They uh, really performed terribly against the Dolphins, uh, who have looked very good. Uh, and at the end of the day, that is a really good team. But Jared Goff had one of his worst games I've ever seen. And honestly... I think we've seen now that Brian Flores is Jared Goff's kryptonite. Uh, we saw in the Super Bowl, in that super low-scoring game, Jared Goff was able to do nothing. Guess who was the coordinator? Brian Flores. Then we see this game where he has four turnovers in the first half. Uh, guess who's the coach? Brian Flores. He is a massive problem for Jared Goff. Because Jared Goff just isn't the best QB by any means. Like He, he isn't bad, but he's just so... like slightly above average that put against a, a really good defense and a really good defensive coach who could trick him especially when he's uh, running in coverages uh, that end up being uh, not what they look like that threw him off so many times when he did hit hidden coverages uh, and that's something that he's got to be better at but this team is still pretty decent uh, number 13 we got the Cardinals uh, are coming off against the a loss against the Dolphins and this defense for them is definitely an issue uh their defense just simply is not good uh and they got tore apart by Tua Tonga Vailoa but their offense is excellent they have so many nice pieces uh DeAndre Hopkins excellent number one receiver one of the best receivers in the NFL Christian Kirk has started to break out for them and it's been really good this season Larry Fitzgerald uh reliable veteran who's just a great presence on any team he's going to uh, beyond and then you got Andy Isabella who can also come in and play some decent football at times uh, overall their offense is just incredible especially with Kyler Murray at the helm who's having an excellent season I feel like he's not getting nearly enough love in like MVP conversations and that's probably because their record isn't great but just individually Kyler Murray has been excellent this season uh, number 12 I got one of the biggest surprises in the NFL we got the Raiders the Raiders have been really, really surprising. Derek Carr is having a much better season than I expected him to. Because there was just multiple seasons where, even though Derek Carr wasn't like the worst QB in the league by any means, and he wasn't even like that bad, he just was all right. He was just very slightly passable, maybe even a little below average, and that just wasn't acceptable. But he's been a lot better. He has some really nice weapons surrounding him. Uh, Darren Waller's been excellent for them. Henry Ruggs is a really nice deep threat. Nelson Aguilar has been a huge surprise. Overall, this offense is just super dynamic. They've been coached very well. The defense isn't great, but uh, they can make plays at times and can do just enough where this great offense uh, can keep them in games. And they've been winning games. They've had some impressive uh, impressive wins on their schedule for sure. Number 11, I got the Colts coming off a great win against the Titans where they just tore that team apart. That defense looked very, very ugly against them. And I like this Colts team. And they're just a very, very well-rounded and solid team with an impressive defense with some excellent pieces like Darius Leonard. Uh, they're well-coached. Phillip Rivers does scare me every single time uh, because... Uh, I'm worried in any game that he could throw three interceptions and just uh, put them out of the game. But they have such a nice, well-rounded team around him that as long as he's making good enough decisions, 
Uh, he's passable, and then they could be a very good team. Uh, number 10, I have the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins have been super surprising. I definitely expect them to be good because I saw so many great things from them, especially down the stretch last year. Uh, they got more talent. They picked up uh, some really nice guys in free agency like Byron Jones, Kyle Van Oy. They had a lot of nice pickups. They had a good draft. Uh, but I didn't know they'd be this good because they are a legit playoff team and one of the best teams in the NFL. I mean, I had them at 10th. I was uh, very uh, debatable putting them at 9th. Uh, and they've just been excellent. They've, they're one of the best teams in the AFC. I just love this coaching staff. I love this defense. Uh, I love Tua Tonga Vailoa. And I just love the direction. <laughs> Bless me. And I just love the direction that this team is going in. I think they're just on the upward trend. Uh, and I think they're co- going to continue to play excellent football. They could be a team that could go like 11-5. and five, And that's really really good stuff from them number nine i have the titans though this offense is very good ryan tannell has had a good season uh derrick henry continues to dominate aj brown's been excellent for them this defense is a massive massive issue and has been exposed multiple times and could be the thing that definitely holds them back uh, and then when ryan tannell is really forced to drop back and be a great passer i just don't know if he's gonna have the capability to do that which i think He's going to need to in a big playoff game against a really good team on these like third and long situations. He's just not very good. Uh, but when he can be conservative, uh, can rely on the run game, can rely on play play action, he's very good. But when he's really tested, I just don't know how good of a quarterback Ryan Tannehill is. Number eight, we got the Buccaneers. Atrocious loss to the Saints. I definitely think they'll play better, uh, but that was a really, really bad look for them. And they simply have to play much better. Uh, and if they don't, they'll continue to go down on these rankings. Number seven, I got the Seahawks. Uh, offense is obviously incredible. DK Metcalf is having a ridiculous season. Tyler Lockett's been great. Uh, when Chris Carson is health- healthy, he's a really good running back. Russell Wilson's been excellent, uh, even though he has had back-to-back not very good games. He was uh, amazing before that. Uh, but this defense is a massive issue and is the thing that's really going to hold them back from being a uh, top, top tier team uh, is that defense. Because even teams whose defense isn't necessarily like great, like the Chiefs, they're they're at least passable. The uh, Seahawks defense, on the other hand, is a true problem. That's very, very bad. Uh, and it's going to be the thing that uh, could hold them back and they need to get that figured out somehow. Uh, number six, I have the Ravens. They've basically been at the spot for the entire season for me. I'm just not a big believer in this team. Lamar Jackson has been honestly a little disappointing this season. He just hasn't been that great. They really don't have uh, great weapons for him either, which has definitely been hurting them. Their defense is very good, but I just don't know if I can rely on this offense and this passing game especially in a big playoff game. Number five, I have the Bills coming off an excellent win against the Seahawks. That was the game they really proved they're legit for me. This offense is amazing. Josh Allen is having a great season. Uh, Stephon Diggs has been a huge difference maker for them, and it's uh, been one of the best receivers in the NFL this season. He's been so, so great. Uh, and even though their running game isn't even that good, their uh, passing game is just so electric that it uh, leads to them being one of the best offenses in the NFL. And though this defense has been super, super disappointing, uh, for me at least, they've still been decent. They haven't been like atrocious. They haven't been Seahawks level bad. So I put them as a top five team. Number four, we got the Packers, another team that's been around this range ish. Uh, after that, Buccaneers lost. They've been playing some good football. Aaron Rodgers has been excellent. The run defense still worries me a lot uh, because we saw them get tore up by Dalvin Cook. Uh, and I think a lot of teams with good running backs could pose them a big problem. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're winning football games, and they're going to be a very good team. Number three, I have the Saints uh, taking up a big leap. Uh, the second we see Michael Thomas back, they look like a way better team. This defense uh, played excellent against the Buccaneers. I think it was a lot of Buccaneers uh, just being bad, but you have to give uh, credit to the team that's playing very, very good football, uh, and that was the Saints in this one. They played excellent, uh, and I think they're con- going to continue to go all up on an upward trend especially if they can continue to get healthier and healthier hopefully michael thomas could stay on the field for them uh because that just makes that offense 10 times more dynamic having them out there number two we got the steelers kept them at the same spot was a bit of an ugly win against the cowboys but you're gonna have those here and there where you underperform against a team that's worse than you and you can be in position to lose 
Uh, but they did end up pulling it out, which does matter. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this offense as the offense definitely isn't great. It just hasn't had that big moment yet where I've been really confident in them. Chase Claypool has definitely slowed down. Big Ben has just been all right this season. Uh, but the defense is so good that it can carry them to being one of the best teams in the NFL just off that. This defense is really, really special. And the fact that they were able to be so good last year with such terrible quarterback play just shows you how really, really good this defense is. Then number one, we got the Chiefs. Uh, they've been there for basically the entire season. They've just uh, continued to be excellent. Patrick Mahomes is my MVP favorite right now. He's playing ridiculous football. His offense is so dynamic. Travis Kelsey is honestly having a pretty underappreciated season as he's been ridiculous. Tyreek Hill's been good. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire's been good. Overall, as a team, they've just been so, so good.